Parts of the state are still recovering from last week's storm, including a popular recreation spot that was leveled by the powerful winds. As News 13's George Gonzalez shows us, the damage in one area is astounding. Utter devastation. That's what the owners of the popular New Mexico cross-country ski area, the Enchanted Forest, say after last week's storm brought winds up to 100 miles per hour, knocking down massive trees, blocking pathways, and damaging buildings. There are spots where there are where it used to be a forest and there are no trees left. They're almost 100% are on the ground. It takes your breath away seeing, seeing things that you could not normally see because there would be trees between you and this view, and now there are none. Officials say the devastation has wiped out between 3,000 trees across trails and about 30,000 other trees spread around the remaining area. On top of that, areas where guests could cool off in the summer or warm up during the winter are no longer safe. Of our five yurts, we have lost three of them, and the other two have sustained sun damage as well. Miller Goins says it's a heartbreaking situation for her and her parents who are the founders of the Enchanted Forest. She says after being opened every year since 1985, this is the first season the resort will be closed. My dad's 87 now and I don't, you know, he's, I don't know if he fully comprehends that this has happened, but I'm kind of glad if he doesn't. My mom cried though. Miller Goins adds, with the holiday season being the busiest for the cross-country ski area, they had been making plans for a Christmas Day opening, even taking reservations since September. I have a whole bunch of refunds, and I, I've just asked people to be patient with us because, um, you know, they made their reservations starting in September, and, and all of us were optimistic that we were going to have a, a winter. George Gonzalez, KRQE News 13. The owners of the Enchanted Forest say they're hoping for a partial reopening February 1st. They're still working with the insurance to figure out a dollar amount on the damage there.